Who loves hicking from the garden? Me! I'm Pete Evans and this is the Paleo Way. And look at that. A delicious 21st century journey inspired by the practices of our Paleolithic ancestors and the way we were all designed to eat. I've seen a lot of things in my time but I've never seen anything like this. We're going to dive deep into the ethics, the science and the animal and human stories behind this revolutionary approach to health and well-being. Human beings are a product of the earth, not separate and distinct from the earth. The way that we go about our lives would indicate that we don't believe that. We're eating a more genetically modified processed diet than we ever have. Our environment is toxic and then we're living these extremely stressful lives. We're at a turning point in human history where what we eat can be your medicine or your slowest form of poison. Chronic diseases which are considered to be completely incurable such as diabetes type 1, and rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis, and depression, and eating disorders, and epilepsy, people are recovering. You're using food as medicine. Food is the most powerful medicine on earth. We can change not just our current health, but our health destinies for the rest of our lives by changing our food. You were quite sick, weren't you? Yeah, I'm quite scary to talk about, mate. It takes something like getting sick for you to realize that this is how your body is designed to work. This is the skill that every ancestral human for the first two and a half million years of evolution had to rely on. Once upon a time, everything that human beings ate was free range and organic. I've got 55 guys who do paleo. They train harder, they can train longer, and the best shape they've ever been in. <laughs> the idea that we are what we eat so good. becomes more important than ever. When my son was nine months old, I was hospitalized for two weeks. I was in bed for almost three months. And I remember there was a point, you know, where he was crying in his crib and I couldn't pick him up because I was so weak. That was kind of my turning point of, okay, I have to commit to this and I can't go back. Where do you think you'd be if you didn't discover it? I would probably be on heavy doses of steroids. I may or may not have had a portion of my colon removed. <laughs> I definitely don't think I'd have one on the way. And we're filling every episode with more delicious, easy to prepare recipes with the healthiest ingredients. Be a little more generous. Fat's good for us. Give a little bit more. <laughs> and the best ways to cook them for you and your family. The body doesn't know how to use a single nutrient. It must be combined with the fats, the carbohydrates, the protein, the amino acids. In a whole food form. In a whole food form. If it's not whole or it's not from a tree or it's not out in a paddock walking around, it's not going to be good enough. There's something about knowing that the eggs came from right over there that just feels right. And it's not only sustainable, it's actually what we call regenerative. And if every farm in the world would do this, we would sequester all the carbon that's been emitted since the beginning of the industrial age in fewer than 10 years. To looking after the land and creating beautiful produce. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the only three million year old fad diet. I can't think of a cooler trend than to have the freshest, most local, organic produce and food. Welcome to the Paleo Way. <laughs>